Daniel Carmargo Barboza was a Colombian serial killer. It is believed that he raped and murdered up to 150 young girls in Colombia and Ecuador during the 1970s and 1990s. Carmigo's mother died before he reached the age of one and his father overbearing and emotionally distant. Afterwards, his father married another woman, Dio Selena Fernandez, who had infertility problems. This caused his new stepmother to become abusive to Daniel, humiliating him in various ways. One of which she dressed him up as a girl, forcing him to go to school that way to where his peers and classmates would make fun of him. Despite humiliation, Daniel stood out as a great student at Leon School in Bogota with a report IQ of 110. However, his desire to continue studying was hampered when he was forced to drop out of school to help his family financially. Crimes and Imprisonment He was first arrested in Bogota on May 24, 1958 for petty theft. Camarada had de facto union with a woman named Alikiria and had two children with her. He fell in love with another woman, Esperanza, age 28, who he had planned to marry but with them found out she was not a virgin. This became the root of Camargo fixations. He and Esperanza formed an agreement that he would stay with her if she had aided him to find other virgin girls to have sex with. This began a period of partnerships and crime. Esperanza was Carmago's accomplice, luring young girls to an apartment under false pretenses and then drugging them with social Sakano sleeping pills so that Carmago would could rape them. Carmago committed five rapes in his way, but did not kill any of the girls. The fifth child, they were abused on his way to report a crime. And both Carmago and Esperza were arrested to taken to separate prisons. Camargo was convicted of sexual assault in Colombia on April 10th, 1964. A judge sentenced Camargo to three years in prison and Camargo was initially grateful for the perceived legitimacy of the judge swearing to repent and mend his ways. However, a new judge was given prudence over the case of Camargo's sentence was to eight years in prison that provoked Camargo to be rebellious. He served his whole sentence and then was released. In 1973, he was released in Brazil for being undocumented due to a delay in sending Carmel criminal records from Colombia. He was deported and released uh, with his false identity. When he returned to Colombia, he took up a job as a street vendor selling television monitors. One day, when passing by school, he kidnapped a nine-year-old girl. After raping her, he murdered her so that she could not inform the police, as his previous victim had done. This was his first assault involving murder. Carmago was arrested May 3rd, 1974, Colombia, when he returned to the scene of crime to recover television screens that he had left beside with the victim. Even though it was believed that he raped and killed more than 80 girls in Colombia, Camargo was imprisonment in Colombia after being convicted of raping a nine-year-old girl. He was initially sentenced to 30 years in prison, but his sentence was reduced to 25 years in prison, and he was interned in the prison on the island of Gorgona, Colombia, in December 24th, 1977. In November 1894, Carmago escaped from the Gargano prison known as Columbia Alcatraz in his primitive boat while having carefully studied the Irish incarnates. The authorities assumed that he died at sea and press reported that he had beaten by sharks. He eventually arrived on Ecuador. He traveled to by bus on December 5, 1984. And on December 18th, he abducted a nine-year-old girl from the city, Ecuador. The next day, the 10-year-old girl disappeared. From 1984 to 1986, committed Carmago 
committed a series of 54 rapes and murders. The police first... The police first believed that all the deaths were work out of a gang, not understanding that one man could have killed so many. Camargo slept on the streets and lived off the money he could gain by ballpoint pens in streets. Occasionally, he supplemented them in his income by selling clothing or small valuables belonging to his victims. Camargo... Marco selected helpless young lower caste girls in search of work and approached them pretending to be a foreigner who needed to find a Protestant pastor in church on the outskirts of town. He explained that he had to deliver a large sum of money, which he showed them as proof, and he offered them as reward if they would accompany him to show his way. He pretended that he was a stranger in the area and hinted at the possibility of the girls getting a job at the factory. No one was suspicious of an older man accompanying a girl or a young woman who could be his granddaughter, Carmago, would then enter the woods, claiming to be looking for a shortcut in order to avoid arousing suspicions from his victims. If the girl did not suspicious drew back, he did not prevent them from leaving. Carmago raped his victims before strangling them sometimes stabbing them when they would resist when they resisted after the victims were dead he left their bodies in the forest arrest Carmago was arrested by two policemen in Quinto February 25, 1896. For a few minutes later, after he murdered a nine-year-old girl named Elizabeth, policemen were on patrol and approached them at the height of Las Granados, thinking that he was acting suspiciously. They found that he was carrying him with a bag containing bloody clothes and clitoris of his latest victim, and a copy of Crime and Punishment by Dov. Dovizieski. He was taken to custody and later moved to a different place for identification. He was arrested under a false name, Manuel Bulgarin Solis, but later identified by Maria Alexandra, who was one of his rape victims, had escaped. Daniel Carmago calmly confessed to 72 girls killing in Ecuador since escaping Colombian prison. He led authorities to dumping grounds of those whose body who had not yet been recovered. The bodies had dismembered while he told Ecuadorian authorities the locations of the bodies how sadistic crimes they were committed. He showed no feelings of remorse. After raping his victims, he hacked, slashed, and crushed the girls with a machete gave cynical explanation for choosing children. He wanted virgins because they cried. This apparently gave him greater satisfaction. According to Margot, he killed because he wanted revenge on the women of faithfulness. He hated them for not being what he believed women were supposed to be. Interview. 